guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be more or less directed at the players of Batman MC this is a slight tutorial on how to accept and how to do certain things with the jobs plugin that we just installed for you as you see our new job center building here uh, Lily's running around on the inside checking it out but uh, and RG just got done but uh, we're right here in the center of commerce section uh, you can do slash warp jobs <laughs> and it'll bring you right here um, now this is a 1.10.2 optimized server uh, we have a lot of plugins which brings it really up to date with some stuff uh, we try to stay away from the newer versions until they work out some of the bugs but if you're interested in joining our server I will link all the information in the description box. I have a server information video you can go watch. It'll tell you everything and give you some little clips of what we've got to offer. Um, this plugin here is called Jobs Reborn 4.5.1 4 and it's by ZRips. Link for that will be in the description below. The building was printed with schematic. I will also leave that link in the description. And to run this plugin, it does support Mythic Mobs and MM. CO, I think is what they call it. I don't know. We don't use it, so. But um, it also requires Vault. Uh, v A U L T. It's an economy type plugin. So you, um, it does stimulate the economy and does have economy aspects to it. So if you are um, not subscribed, please subscribe and check out us out. We always love new players. If you mention this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to the official Batman YouTube channel. Mention that in-game and you will get a surprise amount of in-game cash when you start out on our server. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I absolutely think this is a wonderful idea. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know on the server, uh, on the forums or anything. And uh, I'm super excited. Let's get into it, guys. Oh, look, Lily's excited too. <laughs> I also forgot to note that um, this new plugin has a shop, a job shop for the points that you earn, which I'll explain more later. But it also has textures that work with our texture pack. So if you guys want to, if you haven't installed the texture pack yet, you need to go down to the new superfood shop. It's also it also pops up in the channel from time to time the global chat you'll just click on that it runs like a program double click it it'll re ask you if you want to replace the files you can choose either yes or no doesn't matter it will either replace the old files and install the new ones or it'll just skip the old files and install the new ones and then you're done you're good to go if it doesn't show up in game before you uninstall it try taking the texture pack on and back off <laughs> <laughs> Hi RJ, or RG. Um, try taking the texture pack off and back on, and if that doesn't work, restart your launcher uh, and your game client completely. And if that doesn't work, then the texture pack is not working right for you. And then just ask one of us staff members; we'll help you out. But you, you probably should have the new texture pack anyway because a lot has been added to that. So definitely check that out. Once you come in here, you're going to see some signs. You want to read every sign for any of the jobs that you're interested in. So this here, commands are case sensitive. So type what you see on the sign. Uh, here are the top worker for global. The job doesn't matter. Uh, that is top workers for all combined in their level. And then we've got the point system. So to, you acquire points as you do the job. Um, same with money. You acquire money as you do the job. Each job's different. I'll explain more when we get to each one of those. But to get to the shop, you type slash jobs shop. And to check your points, you type slash jobs points and your name. Um, to quit all of your jobs, do slash jobs leave all. And I'll explain how to leave individual jobs um, when we get to them. You can have two jobs at one time. Um, there is a limit to how many people can be working on the server so we're going to um, adjust that as needed so be forewarned that if um, if we have to we may have to drop to one job per person um, but for now you can have two and 
to go to each floor to learn more. There's two jobs per floor here. Try warp jobs to get here. To see your player stats, type slash jobs stats player name. Now if you type slash jobs browse, this menu here pops up. Now a word of note, the hunter position is not going to be allowed because it makes our server unsafe. It adds elements that we have protected people from. So that is going to be out. We do have one staff member that is a hunter just for testing purposes. Um, but being a staff member, they will be allowed to remain a hunter and be the only hunter on the server uh, for now. Uh, if we can tweak that a little bit, we may put that back in. But just to be safe for everyone's animals to be safe and everything like that, we're going to keep that off. But you can come in here and you can look around and see what... Now also, Explorer is off. Um, the valid actions are to kill, to, to kill and explore and that isn't going to work for our server so we are taking that out completely um, some of these jobs when you get when we get upstairs and I explain to you how to look at the information some jobs say that you can get paid for killing players now this only applies in PvP you will not get paid for killing a player and cannot kill a player in roleplay anyway or anywhere else PvP is the only place that that is going to be acceptable. Now let's just say for example you want to check out the wood cutting which we'll go into detail upstairs but for this menu here it it shows you what you get paid for and what kind of stuff that you can do. Now you can't choose this job from here and I'll show you how to choose your jobs when we get upstairs. So when you first come in, you want to come over here and go to the second floor. The second floor is where you can find the enchanter and the brewer position. Whoops, hit the wrong button. <laughs> Let's talk about the enchanter career. To come up here, you want to join the job. You click this sign, or you can also type that. To leave is the same. So you can get paid for enchanting a certain set amount of items. So basically, if you click on this sign, it will show you that what you can get paid for enchanting. And this, the green is the dollar amount. The yellow, orange, and the middle, well I would say orange, is the points that you acquire for that action. The last column is the experience you earn for that action. Now here's an important note, down here in the bottom there's previous and next buttons. Instead of typing a whole other command or having other signs, you just hit next or hit previous and it'll cycle through your pages. So for each job there is one of these options to look at the information. and It also works as a command. You can type slash jobs info and then the job name. So for this one, Enchanter. Or let's say you're a farmer. Or a digger. Now capitalize the name of the career. The career name has to be capitalized. But um, it works with all the jobs. So you can see that you get $5.50 for crafting golden lakes and books. And this enchanter is one of the more better paid jobs. So if you're really looking into making money and more just looking at the money part of it, then I would go with enchanter. Uh, we've got books in here. Um, you know, let's see, fire aspect one, you get $10 for the book, 10 points, and 10 experience. So it's kind of leveled out. So that's that, and that's pretty simple menu for you guys to see. It's broken down by the item, the dollar amount, the points, the experience. Here, these signs are blank because no one's been doing this job yet, but this sign will show you the top four performing enchanters and the top complete top person performing. 
and what their current level is. This is on all four, on all the floors as well. So it's the same for every single job. In this building, there is a room for each job, and the job dis the job title is on the chair. The join and leave the job is on the desk. You've got your top signs and your just job description. Same thing over here. Like I said, we've got the information chart. You get you basically get paid for brewing any potion. You have to use these brewing ingredients here. So regardless, no matter what potion you make, because of the last update in the game, you have to use blaze powder to run the brewing stand. You're going to get paid regardless. You're going to make twelve dollars regardless. So. This isn't a bad one either. Um, also, you can sell your potions back at certain player shops, and Blue's Books is actually right around the corner. Um, you can see it through the window right there. So if you go out the front door and you turn left, turn left again on the sidewalk, most of you know where Blue's Books is anyway. There's also a Warp slash Blue's Books. So go there. Uh, he's in the process of making a potion shop, so um, that'll help him out, and that'll help you out. And actually, he's the number one person on the top brewer. So, good job, Blue. And let's head up to the next floor. So, essentially, it's the same thing, like I said, for each individual job. Uh, crafter, you get... Uh, now some of these will be different. For crafter, you are not going to be able to craft uh, the TNT, daylight sensor, or hoppers. Uh, those you'll still have to buy from admin shop because we limit the qual quantity of them on the server. Uh, try to at least because they cause quite a bit of lag. And this is a very big plugin, so whatever you guys can do that can help us reduce lag would be best. You know. Um, don't don't build a whole bunch of furnaces in one spot, you know, or just decorate with furnaces, like build a floor out of them or something stupid. So anything you guys can do would help us make this plug-in run a little bit smoother as well. So again, this one has four pages, so make sure to hit the previous and next buttons. And this one also you get paid for cooking chicken, which is pretty funny. But top crafters are here good job Lee over here we've got the woodcutter this is a position that if you decide to do you obviously get paid for chopping down trees and killing people and like I said that only is an effect in PvP world but please go to the tree farm we regen the tree farm multiple times a day and if it empties out and there's a staff member on all you have to do is ask we will come and we will regen the tree farm for you we would very much very much appreciate if you would not tear into wilderness while you're chopping down trees um, you know if there's uh, a spot that has a huge 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 amount of trees that's not close to spawn uh, yeah go ahead but don't don't completely level it out like it's the Amazon rainforest, okay? <laughs> Just, you know, the best thing I can say is go to the tree farm because it's going to always be there. And you don't have to risk, you know, running around and looking for it. It's like right there. But uh, same thing, leave and join job information. And the top performer, which is Lee again. Good job, Lee. And let's go to the next floor and check it out. Alright. So up here we've got farmer and fisherman. So fisherman, we have fishing contest already. So for now, what we have is you just get paid for catching the raw fish, the salmon, the clownfish, the default fish. Now, you also will get money while the contest, the fishing contest that pops up goes on and that lasts for I think three minutes but you can't three to five minutes you can get money that way as well leave and join signs are here and the top 
boards are here too. So if you ever want to know who's in the top, you can just come and, and come up to the floor. I haven't put it yet, but I will put a sign in the on the very first entry floor letting you know what floor each job is on, so you can just jump straight to it. And to do that, I you guys just right click on the sign. It'll take you to whatever floor that you want to go to. And for the farmer, uh, me and RG are farmers right now. I'm first. Woohoo! No, that's just because, like, I I farm anyway because of the Supernova shop. So, <laughs> I this is perfect, and I love this career. It's very fun. There is a note about this career. There's four pages here. Also, uh, you get paid for breaking a lot, but you only get paid for placing wheat and sugar cane. The breeding section and the taming section is getting taken out. We cannot afford to do that because we can't have a whole bunch of cows, a whole bunch of pigs, a whole bunch of sheep, because that will create a mass amount of lag for our server, and that's no good. You also get paid for shearing colored sheep and for milking cows. So this is a really fun one. I like this one. This is my. This is what I do. And let's go check out the next floor. This one is digger and miner. Again, please use the public mine systems. We put those there for you guys for a reason. We also put them there specifically so that people with the jobs can go there and it can keep getting regened. The wilderness doesn't get destroyed because we we run the risk every time we do a rollback that something might not come out right. So help us out. Stay in the public mine systems. We'd greatly appreciate it. Again, with Digger, do not make a death trap or a death hole. You can get a formal, uh, you know, a slap on the wrist, basically. And if you continue to do it, you're you're going to be fired. We can't have people dying because, you know, you can't do what we've asked politely. <laughs> but here, you can break all this. You can um, kill in PvP. Again, join and leave signs are on both the desk. And for the miner, uh, we've got armored and third position or first position. So good job on that. And this one also has three pages here. You basically get paid for breaking all of the stones, the ores, um, for breaking certain things. TNT break is going to be off and so is placing rails that is coming off as well um, we don't have TNT on our server that can actually destroy stuff for a reason <laughs> and placing rails also creates a bunch of lag so we try and limit that as well up here is weaponsmith and builder now these are the last two of the careers and we can also possibly add more we're still working with some of the uh, plugins, settings, and things like that. So, if you guys ever experience a problem, let us know. But up here is Weaponsmith. So, you get paid for crafting weapons and gear. There's three pages to this here. You also get paid for smelting iron, gold, ingots, and diamond. I didn't even know you could smelt diamonds. I'm going to have to try that. I wonder what happens. And you also get paid for repairing. So, definitely um, make sure when you look at these menus to make sure to check for the previous and next buttons. And these signs are blank because no one's done these yet, so they will auto fill in when they have somebody. Okay, builder. Very, very, very important, and please listen, anyone who is interested in this job, because there is only one warning. If you get in trouble for this twice, you are done with Builder. You cannot charge anybody else to build for them. And as an example, let's say Lee says, Hey, I want you to build me a house. You're a builder. That's what you do as a job. Can you come build me a house? You're getting paid to do that job anyway. You, I can't tell Lee, Okay, I'll build your house, but you have to pay me $10,000. You can't do that. You cannot charge for something you're already getting paid for. On the other hand, 
if I build Lee's house and he's really impressed and he really likes it, he can say, okay, here's a $200 tip or here's a $300 tip, $400 tip, whatever. But when this person hands you the money, when they pay you the money, to keep safe, make sure that you put in chat, this is, I'm paying you a tip. Use the word tip because if we think that you're charging people, you will potentially be fired from this position. So very important, keep that in mind. Also, this one here has six pages. It is the one that has the most pages because you get paid for placing a lot of stuff. So there's only one thing in here that you will not be able to get paid for and that is making a uh, nether portal in portal frame here. Um, the portal is disabled anyway, but just to prevent um, constant people um, getting extra money by just placing a crap ton of um, uh, obsidian. I forgot, I forgot what obsidian was called. Uh, to prevent that, we are going to disable that. So definitely check out the different pages here. They will tell you everything you need to know about what you can get, what you can do, what you're getting paid. Like for right here, packed ice, you get $1.50 per piece. You get a, a 1.50 points per piece. You get two experience per piece. So, um, you know, that's that breaks it down for you so that you can understand and see for yourself without having to enter a whole bunch of commands as well. Now, um, as I stated, everything is in this building here. You can adjust the different floors by right clicking on the sign until the current, it'll show you your current floor in black and then in blue it shows you your destination floor. So we're going to go all the way back down to one and make sure you're standing in the elevator. Don't be standing right here because see how it doesn't work. It's, it's not working now because. I'm not in the right spot. See? Now it'll work. So you just change that so you get where you want to go and boom. So that's it for the job stuff. It's pretty simple. Everything you need is here in the job center. Like I said, you can go warp jobs and get back here. As soon as uh, we upload this video and we double check a few things, this is going to be opened and you guys can come in and pick your two careers, pick one career. Um, another thing about the firing, if you have more than two jobs and we say something to you and you don't listen, you're going to be fired from one of them and we will fire you from your lowest level job. I'm not going to fire you from the one you're, you're best at, but if there's a limit. This limit is set so that everybody can enjoy this. So please do not abuse that. Um, consequences will follow with that. Uh, just, you know, follow the rules and everybody's going to have a great time with this. Uh, it sounds so fun. I'm having a blast with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below or in game. Also, if you're not subscribed, please do that. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscriber goal here. And um, if you have any uh, questions about... This, the plugin or anything. All the information will be in the description box below. The links and everything else as well. And the music titles that I used for this video will be there. So thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoy this. I hope this tutorial wasn't too talkative but you guys know me. I talk a lot so you know I like to make sure that everything is said. So let me know by hitting that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys need any help with this plugin, let one of the staff members know. We'll help you out. It's uh, pretty easy. I set it up so that you can just click on signs. You don't really necessarily have to enter very many, if any, commands. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know.